Hi and welcome back to How to Use Anna 2. In this one we're going to take a look at CMD or Chord Memory Device. So this is Chord Memory Device. It's accessed by clicking on CMD here. We can also bring it up with our quick controls. Clicking the edit button. And I'll just walk you through how this works. So on the bottom keyboard, we have a series of memory locations. And on the top keyboard is where you store those actual chords. There's two separate modes. We have single mode and multi-mode. In single mode, um, you can have one chord up here and it transposes it along the entire keyboard. So if I put in a basic C minor, So that's really good for stabs and that kind of thing. And you can either enter the notes in manually by just clicking on the keyboard, or if you hit learn, you can add a chord by just playing it in. Um, and then we have our multi-mode. So multi-mode, um, each note on the bottom key can have a, a different chord assigned to it. So we can just go into learn mode. I'm learning some chords. Take it off learn mode. And now we can... Play those back really quickly and you'll notice on our chord display here it tells you what chord is being played and you can actually also play melodies as well with on notes that don't have chords assigned That's handy too. Um, and we have our presets, uh, the same as our ARP, where you can load in a bunch of different ones we've set up already. We've got basic scales, all the major sevens, minor sevens, and standard major and minors. We've got some ones that we've just made based on tracks and just different chord progressions. So you can bust through all those and have a look. And then the single ones are the single mode, so just individual chords. A whole bunch of those as well. Um, some other features, we can actually transpose where on the keyboard we want these assignments or these memory locations to be by clicking up and down on these arrows. So you can move them if you're using a smaller keyboard with maybe only 25 notes. Um, you can move those to where you can actually get to them. And you can also transpose the individual chords. So if I wanted to transpose it up a semitone or a tone, I can do that. You can put it anywhere you like and that transposes all the notes. So if that's on a C, that's on a A sharp. If I put this one up to, these ones will go up too. So it transposes all the memory locations. So it's handy if you have a set of chords in, um, in say in C minor, but you want to transpose the whole thing up to G minor. You can do that very easily. So another cool feature connected to the CMD is strum. So I've got a guitar set up with some chords loaded in. And what we can do, if we turn strum on, and we play a note, nothing happens until we move our modulation wheel. So I'm moving the modulation wheel and it's playing the notes consecutively. 
and we've got a few different modes. We can either always have it strumming down the ways or always have it strumming up the ways. Or we can have it down then up. Or sorry, up then down. And then the opposite. So down and up. And we can also set how the velocity is um, affecting um, or the sorry the speed you're moving the modulation is affecting velocity. So if I move it slowly it'll be quieter. If I move it more quickly, I get more volume. So there we go, that is strum. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you um, CMD and ARP combining together to create some big riffs and um, chord progressions. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.